to talk about acoustic noise cancellation. And in particular, I want to talk about one part of it, which is called feedback acoustic noise cancellation in a way that, you know, basically talking about what and just describing what it is. Because in the end, I have an input sound, and the whole point is I really just want the input sound going to the person's ear, and the whole rest of the environment disappears. And for those who've been on a noisy train or a noisy plane or a crowded room, you would just like to get as much of that environment out of the way. The problem is the environment is here, and the environment definitely wants to go, you know, will go through this device. Now, it'll have some transfer function. That'll be G1 of S that it's going to get as it goes through. Okay, so now the question becomes, well, how do I approach this? And the way that feedback is always done is there's a microphone sitting inside the system, pretty close to where the ear, you know, the ear structure is. So that way you can go, all right, let me not only hear, let me be able to hear the noise, but I'm also hearing what my speaker is. Now, the good thing is I know what I'm playing, right? But it does mean I at least need to have some sense of what the transformation of my speaker is, too, to work with this. So I have my input, it goes through the speaker, and I can deal with that loop. But then I also get the noise, and I can see it in the microphone, and then I can bring it through this process. Well, if I look at this, well, what's going to happen is, is that I'm going to actually have an input structure here. There's my input. It's actually going through, through the structure there's going to be noise coming through I'm going to be trying to sense that there's also going to be a microphone here and I'm going to get the output you know I'm going to get the output which I can measure the actual output I care about is actually here and I'd like to get this to be R of T I'd like to be nothing here when I'm all done complete sort of cancellation of any acoustic terms well to do that given I'm going to have a measurement Y of T right coming off the microphone, off the microphone here, then I'm going to build, as it's processing, it's going to be a controller. And I'm going to try to deal with the control, I'm going to try to make a controller to give me effectively an optimal control to get rid of any of the effect of this noise that could be coming into the system. All right, so this is cool, right? Because I, if you have a linear system, I have a linear system affecting the N of T. I want to be able to predict all of this material and then build a nice filter that makes all this work. Now, one thing that needs to be brought up, right, is the fact that the time I get from the microphone going all the way through into the speaker is the same amount of time I get for things traveling from one edge of the microphone into the ear. I get almost no delay at all in here. I get a little bit of acoustic timing, but not much to work with, depending on where things are sitting. So latency or delay is critical from the feedback part of the processing. Second, we also know that latency is a huge problem in terms of any of the uncertainty of any linear system I'm going to build, any linear controller. And so that's going to still show up here too. So in both places, I really, really care about the delay aspects in these systems.